Welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm hiding in a shrub. Or I have noticed that you can make out Sebastian's eyes, even when he's got this, uh, opaque pattern over him. That's kind of creepy, actually. So, uh, let's not look at that anymore, and, uh... Keep up our sneaking mission to get back to O'Neill. Who knows how we're going to get... Uh... Well, it's up there somewhere, to City Hall. I would have figured that high up in the air you'd see it from anywhere, but maybe I was wrong. Oh, do I try to kill those guys and get the, uh, the goo, or... Christ, that's a lot of them. I don't have a lot of this. Or a lot of this. That's not helpful. Oh yeah, let's keep going. That is often the correct choice in uh, The Evil Within. <laughs> Fuck! I don't know which direction she's in. Now I do. Let's go this way. The hell? Oh. Ah, this is what I was seeing from a distance. Thought it was a zombie at first, but you know, it was remaining perfectly still. I've probably been here. Come on, there we go. Oh, okay, yeah, I have been here. I think this I think this is actually Yeah, the house of the armory in it. I won't kick this one in case there are many, many, many dudes just around the corner. Frankly, it feels weird just doing this, but you know. Can I? No, I cannot. You know, strictly speaking, since I can't see the hinges, it's possible that this door opens inward. I'm just saying. It's possible. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that pukey thing is going to do to me if it grabbed me, but I'm really glad the bottle thing works on it. Huh. Sounds like there's one burning up inside. Thanks, Van. What I want to know is that ghost thing, is it, you know, just randomly appearing? Or does it actually have a presence on the map? Oh, I think, yeah, yeah, that's the roof where I found the sniper guy. I guess that flashlight was meant to draw my attention to it, but it failed. And I finally cleared out the intersection, and now there's more dudes there than ever, and one of them. Oh. 
Well, I mean, it's a video game, so of course they don't care from that distance, but... Huh. That's weird. I don't... Yeah, that glass is still definitely there, but there's nothing in that bag. Is that? Oh, I... Hmm. It's a good thing I noticed that. I actually went into the wrong area. I would have headed over that way. Navigating the town has suddenly become incredibly dangerous, so I'm going to save. Oh, and I wanted to show off a thing that I forgot to do in the last episode. I noticed this in between episodes. But nope, there is nothing here at all. They made that very clear. Neat. So all that whole thing about, you know, oh, that knife woman is dead, and I'll never have to kill her again. And all that. It feels a lot less cool when, uh... You've got bad guys crawling out of the fucking ground. I thought since it had a sort of open world game thing going on that maybe I could, uh... Just the one. Okay, one of these. Where do I use both up? Uh, they are pretty potent. Okay, fine. I was gonna get with one of these too, but... How is my health? Great, okay. And for that matter... No, it's not enough for anything. You know, it would be one thing if the cat only me out when uh, I had a new uh, slide, but... You know what's crazy to me is that the the Quake rocket launcher. I mean, Bethesda may own the rights now because they uh, purchased id Software, but they had absolute. I don't know that they existed when Quake One came out. You know, back in those days, every game was self-published. Like that was only about ten years after the era when you could. Uh, when games are often published by one guy who coded it in his house and then sold a bunch of copies to a local game store. Yes, please! I'm not even mad that I just made a bunch. I'm just gonna steal all of this shit and then have a chat. How's it going, my man? You made it here okay. I'm not sure if okay is the right word, but yeah, I made it. Dude. Now, tell me how to get to City Hall. Union was built with a sort of backstage area, so Mobius operatives could observe the test subjects in secret. Most of these passageways are still intact enough to bypass the fissures in Union. But chunks of the city are floating in the air. How are their tunnels? They're passageways, not tunnels. When you go in and out of them, you're basically phase shifting. We call it the marrow. Oh. It exists in a layer separate from what you see. That doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Fortunately for you, it doesn't have to make sense. It just has to work. But it's a maze down there. You take the wrong path, you could end up on the other side of town. 
Where's this Meryl that gets me to City Hall? And who comes up with these ridiculous names? I'll mark the location of the port. It's in the North Safe House. Looks like a regular computer, but it's not. I'll give you the password you need to activate it. Once you're inside, follow the marker to exit B2. That should take you straight to City Hall. You Thank you. You told me this on my communicator, you know. Maybe so, but I couldn't have given you this. The passageways are still intact, but the collapse of Union has caused infrastructure issues. My communicator says that the gas leak is blocking the path to exit B2. You'd never make it through alive without this. Deadly gas leaks, huh? <laughs> Thanks for saving the worst for last, O'Neill. Based on what we've seen so far, I doubt that it's the worst you'll encounter. You're not helping. Anything else you need to know before you go? Gas mask. Wearing this is the only way to get through the gas-filled areas of the Marrow. O'Neill was nice enough to find a brand new one for you, so you're not wearing a dead man's mask. Oh. Chapter 4, Behind the Curtain. Okay. By the way... How did you know that this signal was coming from the guy I mentioned? My communicator went crazy when you tried to call earlier. Something was interfering with it, a frequency I'd never seen before. And it was coming from the warehouse that you were just in. Right before you called, the signal disappeared. And then BAM! It was at City Hall. When you said this guy was powerful and that you lost him, well, it stood to reason that he was the source of the signal. What kind of powers are we talking about here? He summoned some of those things, like he was controlling them. Then he just teleported away. Reminds me of the last time I was in STEM. But everyone in Union was tested before they were placed in STEM. There's no way they'd let a psycho in here. Well, I'm here. They didn't test me. But you're not a psychopath. Right? <laughs> I th that last conversation... Sebastian seems like kind of a dick. I don't know if uh, it's, you know, all the stress he's under, you know, looking for his long-lost daughter, or if he's just been drinking too much coffee. Why do you think he chose to camp out at City Hall? It's probably got something to do with the stable field emitter we set up there. Damn it. What's a stable field emitter? It's a machine that temporarily stabilizes an area of STEM environment if it starts to break up. It's not nearly as powerful or effective as a core, so we only use them for emergencies. It doesn't seem like it's working. Yeah. Uh, we sent Harrison and a security team to set it up when we arrived. I hope they're okay. Maybe you should come with me. If I can find Lily, we can get out of here together. No way. I'm not leaving a safe room unless it's to get out of Union entirely or someone forces me out. And who the hell is this Lily you keep mentioning? Lily is my daughter. She's the core. <laughs> no wonder you're so determined to find her. I could really use your help. I'll help you from in here when I can, but I'm not going out there. She's just a little girl. I know, but appealing to my better nature isn't a good way to convince me of something. Sorry, I'm just not built that way. Yeah, I've noticed. I mean, can you really fucking blame the guy? Have you seen what's out there? That was a rhetorical question. I assume if you're here, you've been watching these videos. <laughs> That's right, I don't need coffee. And I just did that stuff, and I don't have enough gel, so let's get going. Actually, wait. If this is a new chapter, maybe there's new loot. I thought I heard, uh, one of our stab-happy friends up here. Right, right, I can do that. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, whatever, man. Kind of feels like that would be for a siege, doesn't it? Like, you'd push the thing in front of it? Or maybe it's just because parts of this game really, really remind me of Resident Evil 4. Oh, oh, open, open. Fine. I've been in here before. Who closed that? You know what? Maybe it's just a trend. I don't know. Here's three more. Uh, hmm. 
six more frames that had pictures in them. I wanted to knock those over, but they're not physics objects, sadly. Odd. Well, thanks for the mask and the intel. Hope you don't get eaten. You know what, with the conversation stuff done, I'll just save again. Oops, sorry. Being in here can't be good for anyone's nerves. There we go. I wonder what happens if I hit that with one of those bolts. Oh no, I can't aim in here, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a graphic stutter, doesn't it? So does it just have a switch on both sides? Every lock I've ever encountered, well, every door lock I've ever encountered had a switch on the inside and a key lock on the outside. Who would put a dumpster right in front of... Is that a window or a door? No, it's a window. There's another one. Where am I going? That's right, uh, back up to the safe house. Which now lies directly across from all of those fucking dudes! Hey, let's put on the computer. Christ, in a bucket. I don't know what that means, incidentally. I don't know if you've noticed this, but a lot of what I say is non-sequitur. I think that's one of those symmetrical monsters. And that's one of the stabby monsters. I am about to do something profoundly stupid. Hey, you don't know. There didn't used to be one of those gas things down there either. Do I start off by blowing him up, or shooting that guy so he dies? Fuck me, that's a lot of them. Oh! The fuck are you doing up here, asshole? That was extremely close. I was actually walking over there to put a, uh... a booby trap on the ground. Oh, I'm sorry, her. My mistake. this. You gotta die. Actually, yeah. Oh, 
dear. Boy, don't you feel stupid. Boy, don't I feel Oh, never mind. I thought that was coming from directly behind me. I'm not doubting that thing can climb, it's just not doing that right now for some reason. Well, that didn't seem to do shit. I don't think you even noticed, did you? Yeah, you did. Hi! Fuck you, too. I'll just, you know, mash A until I get that juice. Smile for the birdie. This might be the only game I've ever played where the main character cannot just slide down the ladder like a reckless idiot. Get that juice before it evaporates. Nice! Hey, and I still got this. Toasted to perfection. Oh, and uh, before I go, shout out to my good friend Keegan, who left a comment on uh, one of the early videos where I was struggling with the zombies in the train, saying that, well, I'd suggest you suplex it, but that's what you do to ghost trains, not mental construct trains. <laughs> I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play The Evil Within 2, Burning Dog fans, when I make my way back to the other safe house, and, uh, head back into the marrow. Later!